Hello again. Today I am reviewing LEGO Ideas Set 21336 The Office. This set contains 1,164 pieces and comes with an instruction booklet containing 178 pages. This set was released October 2022 and retailed for £104.99. The minifigures included are Michael Scott, Dwight Schrute and Jim Halpert. Pam Beasley, Angela Martin and Oscar Martinez. Kevin Malone, Stanley Hudson, and Phyllis Lapin Vance. Ryan Howard, Kelly Kapoor, and Meredith Palmer. Creed Bratton, Toby Flenderson and Daryl Philbin. The set comes with lots of show related accessories, including several interchangeable elements with alternative sticker designs. The first part of the build is the highly detailed replica of Michael Scott's infamous office. This room is colour accurate, crammed with mini builds and all around the room Easter eggs from the long-running comedy series can be found, such as the Golden Ticket Idea promotion and the World's Best Boss Mug, which Michael bought himself. The next step is to build the rest of the open plan office. First we start with the cluttered Kirby reception desk. More references adorn the walls in the form of pictures, and there's even a fax from future Dwight. Some well-constructed seating create the waiting area, and on the other side of the door is a small entrance to the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company office, complete with sign. Next, we add Jim and Dwight's desks at the center, complete with Dwight's hidden weapon stash. And on top of the shelving is probably one of the most iconic elements in the whole set, Dwight's stapler encased in jello. Moving to the back right corner, we then construct the conference room, where many a hilarious and cringeworthy moment has taken place. This is where most of the stickered accessories can be swapped out, like the flip chart and the TV screen, to recreate scenes from your favourite episodes. Finally, we build another shelf and set of desks for Phyllis and Stanley, and the build is done. Then all that's left to do is to use the sliding runner function to slot Michael's office into place, and you are now ready to recreate your favourite moments from the hit show, spanning a remarkable nine seasons. My first reaction to this set is the build is incredibly intricate, with each area thoughtfully designed to reflect the show's distinctive style. The attention to detail is impressive, and the various office props and furniture are very well constructed and a lot of fun to build. Once assembled, the set makes for an impressive display piece. It is a fantastic conversation starter, and I can see this appealing to any fan of the show, even if they are not your typical average LEGO customer. The set size ensures it displays well on a shelf or desk, and the thoughtful design has the same considerate feature as both the Central Perk and Friends Apartment sets, that allow you to disconnect a small portion, in this case Michael Scott's office, providing a space-saving feature, so even fans of a limited space can display this little homage to their favourite mockumentary. The biggest selling point of this set for me has to be the attention to detail, and the inclusion of the 15 diverse minifigures. This is a faithful recreation of the iconic office environment, making it a standout set. But it is a little disappointing that Pam is the only minifigure with some form of leg detail. But I can see people buying this set solely to populate the Lego cities. With a huge roster of characters, it was unavoidable that some cast members were going to get overlooked. But there is one individual who I really think should have been included. The desk on the end, next to the conference room, is occupied by Andy Bernard from season three. So it's unusual, 
but his minifigure was not included. Even more so when there is a particular design gimmick which features a swappable brick to commemorate the moment when Andy couldn't find his phone and punches a hole in the wall. As a big Catherine Tate fan, I was also a little disappointed Nelly was also omitted and then there's the enormous amount of stickers you had to apply. But then again, if you want lots of unique details included and Easter eggs, sadly, stickers are a necessary evil. Printed pieces really do increase the price of a set and overall I do feel that the cost of this set is fair considering you do get a lot of minifigures and some sizeable plates and elements. It is also worth mentioning this set provides great opportunities for mock builders as this is only a moderate chunk of the office studio set. Some of the characters' desks are missing, but there is nothing stopping avid customizers from continuing on where LEGO left off and adding their own extensions to this set. And in fact, several mock creators have already done this. There is one particular mock build that has caught my eye and I will be building it and doing a full review of that striking modular very soon. So remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Anyway, that's it for the review. Feel free to drop a comment. Now it's time for the money shots. <laughs>